Yeah, it's uh, it's great to be back in WA. It's uh, been a long time. Uh, it was 13 years before I uh, have now moved back to, to Perth, but really enjoying being back in my home state um, around some familiar faces. And look, uh, I said when I first moved back, I grew up supporting West Coast. So to be back here as a coach is uh, is, is really exciting. And uh, with the group that we've got, I'm really excited about what it uh, looks like for us moving forward. Was it a difficult decision to leave Adelaide? Funnily enough, it really was, yeah. I. Um, Early days when I was playing, I used to say that when I'd finished up, I'd be on the first flight back to Perth. And um, a lot of things changed over the years. I married an Adelaide girl and uh, had a little daughter over in Adelaide last year and got many friends and family over there as well. So uh, it was a really hard decision, but um, look, I'm really thankful for the opportunity to come back here and, and coach at West Coast. What was the attraction of the role here at West Coast? Uh, it was an it was opportunity to coach at AFL level uh, for myself, uh, to be around family and friends. and. I guess to be in a fresh environment and to be in a great organisation like West Coast is, is something that I certainly couldn't refuse. So it's stoppage coordinator as well, I think that was yep. a bit of an issue for the club last year. What do you think you can bring to that role from your experience at Adelaide? Oh, hopefully some insight from what Adelaide have done the last couple of years. Um, as well as that, I think just having someone solely in that role to focus on game day will certainly help us on match day. Um, there's a few personnel changes that will ha hopefully uh, occur throughout the year as well, which might give us a different dynamic. Um, and it's been well documented too. We've got some young talent coming through that will just add a different mix throughout our midfield. So um, expect to see something different in that space um, and more of the same in other areas too. So There was a lot of improvement from within in Adelaide's midfield group last year. There was a lot of talk about how the midfield wasn't good enough and that was the guys were already there that sort of improved that took their midfield to the next level. Do you sort of see that West Coast and things you can implement from what you learned at Adelaide and bring that across here? Oh, yeah, there's definitely opportunities in the midfield this year for sure. Um, Again, it's been well documented. Sam Mitchell and Matt Prittis leave the midfield and two great stalwarts of the game and of this footy club as well. So that presents an opportunity for young guys to, to grab with both hands and, and show what they've got. And as I said, there's young guys with some really different dynamics to, to Mitch and to Pritter as well. So it's going to be uh, really exciting to see what they bring and how that um, evolves come game day. How important is the right wing to what you're doing at the moment? And how much have you been able to get Nick involved in one of the drills and stuff you're doing? Yeah, the, the rucks are really important to, to stoppage work in general. Um, and last year, uh, obviously not having Nick and Scotty available for, for large parts presented its challenges at times, but Nathan Vardy and, and Drew Petrie certainly uh, put their hand up and, and helped out where it was needed. Um, so it's going to be really exciting this year having Nick and Scotty available. Scotty's done virtually every session so far to, to date in pre-season looks really strong and I know he's itching to get back out there and, and play some good footy again um, and he's certainly in good form at the moment and Nick's been well documented too. He's going to be uh, be up and running sooner rather than later for, for games and he just wants to get out there and play footy again. He's, he's been out of the game for a while and, and can't wait to, to be running around again out there. But how significantly does having Nick there or having Nick not there change your plans? Cause you can be so much more attacking, I suppose, when, when he is there. Yeah, we can. And um, what we've tried to do is to, to say that if, if Nick or Scotty or we have ruck dominance from any of our rucks, um, that's going to be an added, added bonus for us. Um, we know what they're all capable of, but I guess our fundamentals around the stoppage aren't going to change. So we're going to bank on that we're, we're breaking even. And if we get that advantage, then we'll try and uh, manipulate from there. Have you been able to do anything at all with Nick so far in terms of jumping and structure and strategy? Yeah, we've been able to do uh, a fair bit of work together, whether it be with, with ruck work, um, some ruck mid connection with our younger guys as well. Um, and he's been joining in some drills from time to time as well, as you guys would have seen down at training. So uh, he's building for, for, pre for preparing for season 2018, and that's going to remain the case until um, we get further down the track. Is it the case that with losing guys like Mitchell and Critters, do you feel like you do need to take a step back in order to take a couple of steps forward, or do you think that it can be quite seamless mid-season coming up with that midfield group that they can improve quite quickly? Oh, look, those those opportunities for young guys, um, they don't know, uh, I guess they don't have the expectation that's that's been passed before them, so they just want to get out there and enjoy their footy and play with some energy, and that brings, as I said, a really different dynamic to our, our midfield mix. So what that's going to look like, not even us as coaches really know yet, but um, I guess we'll get a pretty pretty uh, early indication when we play our JLT games, and um, I'm sure our fans will be really excited to see uh, all our new young guys running around. How many guys have you got running through your group at the moment for drills and soccer drills and stuff? Oh, almost every player, I guess, bar our key defenders and key backs, will come through the midfield at some stage, and it's about adding a bit of diversity to their game and. Uh, 
and also making us, I guess, a bit more unpredictable um, in stoppage situations as well. So you'll see some forwards come up, you might see some defenders roll through as well. But um, yeah, midfield definitely the biggest group we've got, um, as would be every other club. But uh, we try and expose everyone at some stage throughout pre-season just to see uh, what they're capable of around a stoppage. Dave, from the stoppage, there seems to be so many changes over the last few years about the strategies around it. What, I guess, are your key philosophies that you brought over from Adelaide as a, a stoppage coach that you sort of picked up? Oh, I can't reveal all my secrets in that space, but um, look, it's not, um, you know, we've been doing a lot of things right here for, for a number of years and um, coming from Adelaide and obviously Don Pike was here only a couple of years ago too, so I think he's, uh, he's taken a few things from here and implement, implemented them in Adelaide and um, expect to, to roll back a couple of things from Adelaide as well, but um, as I said, we're doing a lot of things right here and it's a matter of just uh, working with what we've got and, and building from, from last year. The things that guys like Rory Sloan, the great players that you played with in coach, are there things that you've grabbed from them that have sort of stuck out for you in your coaching? Uh, yeah, there are. I mean, every player is, is, is very different in many ways. Um, and leadership qualities, whether it be how they see the game, whether it be how they communicate on field, whatever it is. So it's a matter of trying to, to work out, I guess, what the individual player's strengths are and then how we can try and add different strings to their bow to make them more valuable, more valuable to us on, uh, on game day.